到中国之旅，第一次。Hello and welcome to a journey to China, Chinese one. 你们好，我是于博士。Did you hear anything new in my greeting? Ah, I know some of you did. Your listening skills are very good today. I said 你们好 because I was saying hello to all of you as a group. Now repeat after me. 你们好，你们好。Once more, 你们好。Men is a plural word that is associated with human beings. It's an interesting part of Chinese grammar. I'll teach you more about the plural word men in just a few minutes. First. Let's do a short review of our vocabulary. Listen to the words and tell me what they mean. Don't look at your notes. Listen. 你好。你好。What does it mean? Right. It means hello. Which tones are used in 你好 Did you and your classmates agree? The third tone is used in 你 and also in 好 However, as a general rule, when there are two third tones next to each other, the first third tone changes, and it's said as second tone. The original written tone mark remains the third tone. Listen, 你好。我是，我是。What does it mean? Yes, it means I am. What tones do you hear in 我是 Tell me. 我 uses the third tone, and 是 uses the fourth tone. Listen to the tones. 我是 Next, 再见。再见。What does it mean? Yes, it means goodbye. Excellent. 很好。What are the tones used in 再见 Do you all agree? In these syllables, 再 uses the fourth tone, and 见 also uses the fourth tone. Listen, 再见，好。Now, take turns saying hello, introduce yourself, and say goodbye in Chinese to two of your neighbors. Pay attention to the tones. Very good. 很好 Using tones correctly can make a big difference when you speak Chinese. You want people to understand what you say. For instance, if you wanted to call your mother in Chinese, you could say "ma." But if you said it in the third tone, "ma," that is the word for horse. Tones are important. Now, repeat after me. Ma, ma. Can you tell the difference here? Now say mother in Chinese. Now say horse in Chinese. 很好 It's time to add more words and phrases to your knowledge of Chinese. When I greeted you earlier, I said 你们好 Why did I not say 你好 Right, because I was saying hello to all of you as a group. 们 is a plural word that's associated with human beings. When you add 们 to a pronoun or noun associated with people, you get the plural form of the word. Let's practice the pronunciation of men. Listen, men, men.
men. It has a nasal quality to the sound. The tone is neutral. Now repeat after me. Men. Men. One more time. Men. Now say, ni men. Again, ni men. Say ni men with me one more time. Ni men. Good. In lesson two, you learned to use the formal form of ni when greeting a teacher, a parent, a senior person, or person in a business situation. Tell me, what is the formal form of ni? Yes, nin. Nin is a formal and polite form of ni. Listen to me as I say, nin hao. Nin hao. Nin hao. Now say with me, nin hao. Again, nin hao. Very good. In lesson two, you greeted your teacher by saying, nin hao, lao shi. This is a polite way to say hello. You can also say hello to a teacher, a parent, or a senior person by using the title first, then saying hello. For teacher, what would you say? Yes, lao shi hao. Listen again, lao shi hao. Hello teacher. Lao shi hao. Using Chinese words you already know in new sentences is a part of the fun. Now repeat after me. Lao shi hao. Lao shi hao. One more time. Lao shi hao. Excellent. If you say lao shi hao to your teacher, then what could your teacher say to the class in return? Did someone say ni men hao? That's correct. Excellent. Your teacher could also say tong xue men hao. Tong xue men hao is one of today's new phrases. Tong xue means fellow student or classmate. Add the plural word men, and it becomes Tong Xue Men. Did you hear it? Tong Xue Men. So now, how do you say hello class or hello students? Yes, Tong Xue Men Hao. I'll say hello to all of you as a class. Tong Xue Men Hao. Hello class. Let's practice Tong Xue Men. Which tones are used? Do you hear the rising second tones in the word? Listen. Tong, Xue, Men is neutral. Listen. Then repeat after me. Tong, Xue, Men. Tong, Xue, Men. Tong, Xue, Men. Good. Now, Let's say Tong Xue Men Hao together. Tong Xue Men Hao. Tong Xue Men Hao. One more time. Tong Xue Men Hao. Hen Hao Tong Xue Men. Great job, class. There's one more word to learn today. The word Ta is a third person pronoun, meaning he or him. Ta uses the first tone. I'll say it for you a few times. Ta, ta, ta. Now listen and repeat after me. Ta, ta. One more time. Ta, hao. Ta means he or him. You use it a lot in the future. For instance, I could introduce a person to you and say, Ta shi Yao Ming. What does it mean? Yes, he is Yao Ming. Ta shi Yao Ming. Just for fun, Tong Xue Men. Let's make Ta plural by adding Men to it. Ta Men. 
What do you think it could mean? Any ideas? If you said 他们 means they or them, you are correct. Excellent thinking. Let's look at the chart of today's vocabulary. Pay attention to the pinyin and new characters that go with our words. Repeat after me when I say them in Chinese. Today's words are teacher, 老师, classmate, 同学, the plural word, 们, and the third person pronoun for he or him, 他. Now, let's analyze the initials, finals, and tones in today's vocabulary. Look at our chart. The word 老师, what are the initials? Yes, 了 in 老, and 师 in 师. Is there a compound final for 老? Correct. It is 老 with the third tone, 老. Does 师 have a simple final? Yes, the letter 一. I'll say the syllables of 老师 slowly. 老师 Now, say 老师 with me. 老师 Good, 好 What are the initials in 同学? Yes, they are 特 and 西 what are the simple finals? Very good. There are no simple finals in 同学. Tell me the compound finals. They are 翁 and 约. Both syllables use the second tone. I'll pronounce the syllables of 同学 slowly for you. 特翁同, second tone. 同, 西, 约, 学, second tone, 学. Now, let's say 同学 together. 同学, for the plural word 们, what is the initial? Correct, it is 么. Is there a simple final? No, there is not that gives us the compound final. An, men has a neutral tone. I pronounce the syllable for you. More, an, men, neutral tone, men. Let's say together, men. Our last word is ta. What is the initial? Yes, ta is the initial. Is there a simple final? There is. You are correct. The simple final is a ah, with the first tone. Listen. Ta, a, ah, ta. Say ta after me. Ta. 很好,同学们. So, in today's vocabulary, we have five initials, two simple finals, four compound finals and we use the first, second, third, and the neutral tones. Be sure to copy the pinyin syllables with the tones on your worksheet for this lesson. Since we're becoming familiar with our new vocabulary, here are the new phrases for today's lesson in a short dialogue between a teacher and her students. The teacher says, 同学们好,我是李老师。Listen carefully and try to figure out its meaning. 同学们好,我是李老师. Pay attention to the tones in the syllable, 师. 师 is a word that has many meanings when different tones are used with it. 师 in the phrase 我是 is fourth tone, 是. The syllable 师 in 老师 is first tone, 师. This is a great example of why saying the right tone helps you communicate clearly. Listen to the phrase one more time. 
同学们好，我是李老师。Now, say it with me three times. 同学们好，我是李老师。同学们好，我是李老师。同学们好，我是李老师。好。Now, for the response to the teacher, again, listen carefully as I say it, and try to figure out its meaning. A student replies, 老师好，我是 gives the name, and then says, 再见 Listen. 老师好，我是再见老师好，我是再见，老师好，我是。再见。Now say it with me three times, and say your name in the sentence. 老师好，我是。再见。老师好，我是。再见。老师好，我是。再见。Excellent work on the tones. As an optional reply, another student says, "Nin hao," washi, and tells the teacher their name. Again, listen carefully as I say it, and try to figure out its meaning. Nin hao, washi. Nin hao, washi. Nin hao, washi. Now say it with me three times and use your name. Nin hao, wo shi. Nin hao, wo shi. Nin hao, wo shi. Very good. Now I want you to divide into groups of three or four and practice this dialogue. Take turns role playing as a teacher and students. Have some fun, and say the tones as correctly as possible. I'll put the dialogue on the screen in Chinese characters and pinyin. Let's begin. Job with the dialogue. 很好，同学们。Now, I have a challenge for you. Can you read the Chinese characters of our dialogue on the screen without looking at the pinyin? Look at the screen without the pinyin for a moment. Are you starting to make the connections between the characters and their sounds? Pinyin helps you learn the pronunciation of the characters. Eventually, you only need pinyin to learn new words like 同学 and 们 Characters are the key to the words you want to use. Here's why: Chinese has over 400 syllables that make up the sounds of the language. When you add tones, there are hundreds of combinations that form words. Many words share the same syllable and tone. For example, the syllable "shi." You know "shi" with the first tone because it's found in the word for teacher, 老师 "Shi" with the first tone has many meanings. For example, "shi" can mean poem and wet. You also know "shi" with the fourth tone from the phrase 我是 "Shi" with the fourth tone also means. City and test. So, how do you communicate which word you mean? One way is by using the correct character. The other is by the subject you are talking about. This is why knowing and reading characters is important. Imagine how great it would feel to read Chinese characters and know what they mean. It really is fun. 
In lesson two, we learn the sounds of the 21 initials or consonants used in the Chinese language. Let's read the 11 initials or consonants that sound similar in both English and Chinese. Listen and repeat after me. Bo, po, mo, fo, da, ta, na, la, ge, ke, he. Great job! 好极了，同学们。Let's continue with the ten unique Chinese initials or consonants. Listen and do your best to say these initials clearly. Repeat after me: Ji, Qi, Xi, Zhi, Chi, Shi, Ri, Zi. Very good, students. 很好，同学们。With practice, you'll be able to say all the initials with beautiful and correct pronunciation. Now, tell me, what are the six simple finals? Yes, they are single vowels. Have you practiced speaking them during your study time? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Let's pronounce the simple finals together using the first tone. Let's begin. Ah, o, e, i, u, u. Let's repeat them again. Ah, o, e, i. Great. We review the simple finals. Now let's read the initials with some simple finals. We'll use the first tone as we read it out loud. Listen closely to the different consonants and vowels. Repeat after me: ba, pa, mo, fo. Gu, ku, hu, da, ta, na, la, ma, fa. Now, with the next three syllables, we'll say them with the sound of u. Listen and repeat. Ju, chu, shu. When you see the pinyin letter wu with the initials ji, qi, or shi, it is correctly spoken as yu, but spelled using the plain wu without the two dots, the umlaut marking. This is a pinyin spelling rule. Let's say them again. Repeat after me. Ju, chu, shu. Great. Let's keep going. Sha, sa, ra, ju, chu. Za, cha, sa, zu, chu, li, si, shi. How did you do? The goal of pronouncing the initials, finals, and tones. Is to help you clearly speak the Chinese syllables. For fun, guess the meaning of some words that use simple finals. You might think these are easy, 
or maybe a little challenging. Look at these words. First, 爸爸. 爸爸. What do you think that means? 爸爸. Does it sound similar to a word you know? 爸爸 means dad or father. Good. Here's another one. 咖啡. 咖啡. What do you think it means? Do you need a hint? You can drink it. Yes, coffee, cafe. Next, Moshiga. Moshiga. Does it sound familiar? Say it to yourself. Moshiga. It's a location. Who guessed it? Right. Moshiga means Mexico. Very good. That was fun. The simple finals you just heard in these words are joined by 30 compound finals. Compound finals are vowel sounds made from two or more vowels. Compound finals can also have a nasal sound where an mm or ng mm sound follows the vowel sound. I want you to be familiar with the compound finals but I don't expect you to know these perfectly right now. You'll learn them as you add to your vocabulary. Here's a chart that shows you the compound finals used in Chinese. Follow along with me so you know how they sound. I'll pronounce each compound final twice. Then you repeat it. Let's begin. I, I, A, A, ow, ow, o, o, an, 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 Ang, 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 ong, ong. Very good. Ya, ya, yao, yao, ye, ye. Yo, yo, yen, yen, yin, yin, yang, yang, yin, yin, yong, yong. 很好,同学们, you are doing very well. Let's continue. 哇, 哇, 我, 我, why, why, 喂, 喂, 弯, 弯, Wen, Wen, Wang, Wang, Wong, Wong, Yue, Yue, Yuan, Yuan, Yun, Yun. Excellent. Pat yourself on the back. There's one more compound final that is special. It sounds like this. Er, er never has an initial or consonant sound before it to make a word. I'll say for you again. Er, er, 
Now, repeat it after me. Er. Again. Er. For example, the word for the number 20 in Chinese is 二十. Good. These 30 compound finals plus the six simple finals equal the 36 finals used in the Chinese language. 非常好,同学们. You've done a fantastic job with pinyin study today. Since you're becoming familiar with speaking simple and compound finals, let's practice reading some words that have different combinations of initials, finals, and tones. I'll say each word twice, then you repeat after me. Go, go, yu, yu, niao, niao, hu, hu, xiong mao, xiong mao, yang, yang, ma, Ma, Mao, Mao, Long, Long. Excellent, Tongxuemen. We study many new things today. So let's review what we've learned. We reviewed the formal form of you, which is Nin, and practice the formal way to say hello, which is Nin Hao. We also learn another way to greet your teacher by saying, Lao Shi Hao, Hello Teacher. The new vocabulary for today was Lao Shi, Teacher, Tong Xue, Classmate or Fellow Student, Men, the word that makes pronouns plural. Remember that Men is associated with human beings. Our last word for today was ta, meaning he or him. Our new phrases for today were lao shi hao, hello teacher, and tong xue men hao, hello class. We continued our study of pinyin by analyzing the new vocabulary, speaking the six simple finals, and reviewing the initials or consonant sounds. We guessed the meanings of some words that use simple finals and began to study compound finals. We also practiced speaking words that have simple and compound finals or vowel sounds. We've accomplished a lot of work today. Take time to practice speaking the new phrases you've learned with each other and be sure to complete your worksheets and the homework assignment for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you soon for our next lesson on a journey to China, Zhongguo Zhilu. And remember, learning never ends. 学无止境. 再见.